check in and I want to say hello, first of all, to anybody who's watching live. Welcome. Um, we're going to do our one little tag weekly check in. Monday seems to be my day for that. Even though it is a holiday, I decided to pop in. Um, if you are re watching on YouTube, uh, thank you for bearing with me. I will be repeating some of the con um, comments that come through. If you are joining us live, feel free to swipe and invite your friends and followers to join in. We're going to talk a little bit about arts and crafts and a prompt. Now, what I like about One Little Tag is that it's really challenging us to make something fun uh, every day, to try and exercise our creativity, but if you don't make tags, that's okay too. You can use the prompt for journaling. You can use the prompt for card making. You can use the prompt for scrapbooking. It's kind of any paper craft or, or mixed media arts and crafts that you might like, you can use this prompt for. So last week, my prompt was negative space. And you know, I kind of use that as a general rule, but maybe not something I use every day, but I want to show you some of my negative space cards. So this is one that I did. This is for the seventh. And what I did is I cut out the little um, butterfly and then I reapplied it here. So I used the positive and the negative. And this is just a, a distress stamp background, distress stains with a little stamp on top. So kind of using that positive and negative. And then. I used the negative again, and I did a little periscope of this. I don't think I put it up on YouTube yet, so I'm late. I'm falling behind. But this is using Distress Stamp Pads and water. Now, you see those little droplets on there? That is just, I think, so much fun, a great way of adding some extra texture without adding texture. And I used the inlaid die cutting technique. Here you can see where I used the tape on the back to hold it in place. So I basically cut this die twice. I cut it once in the tag and then once again just on plain white paper and then I inverted the images. I put it back together kind of like a puzzle. I love this technique because it's striking and talk about using your negative space. I also still have the original smile die that I can throw on a card or on another tag later. So nothing is really ever wasted if you are using your negative space pieces parts. Hi, we've got my Xyron machine and then just adhere the metal foil on. Talk about the easiest way to add foil onto anything is to just use your Xyron machine or double sticky tape and then burnish it down. So thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate that. So this is how I kind of was interpret interpreting negative space. So I did three. And again, even though I'm the person who made up the challenge, as you can see, I don't necessarily do the challenge every day. It's just one of those little things to kind of get you over a creative hump or schlump. Great, this is what I made for my daughter's birthday, and that's my daughter and I in the middle. And she just turned 11. But you can see I did some collage layering here, too. I like to layer. I like to use wet media. Um, here's another one that is a very collage-y. Uh, I used some jelly printed paper and some little die cuts and this says changing. So just kind of layered that up. Here's another one I did, just simple collage. And it says life is a journey, not a destination. These are just found objects that were still on my table. Remember me, I, I think a few weeks ago we did that found object challenge. Like whatever you find, just throw it on a tag. So that's what I did. That, by the way, is also a great way if you're having a day where you're really busy or a little creatively strapped, you're a little underwhelmed with your creative juices, just grab something on your desk and call it a day. Here's one that's really simple. Here's the leftovers from this one. Notice how I cut a little bit of that very uh, corrugated cardboard. Threw it in the middle of a tag, added a stamp. You never know when you're making a memory. And then this is a little um, hot melt embellishment that I made years ago that I just throw in a drawer. I have a tendency to throw things in drawers because you never know when they're going to come in handy. But I actually really like the way the tag looks. It's really simple, really, really kind of zen. Now, I found a tag that I had made, I don't know how many years ago, found it in a drawer. And this is some iridescent paints and Julie Fafen Balzer's stencil. And I just added a little embellishment in the middle. This is one I just did. I really, really like it. That's a distressed stain background, a little shadow stamp, 
So, but this is such a simple thing and I just use a lot of little white dots. My secret weapon, you guys, is this white Signo gel pen. I love this gel pen. If you don't have one, you should buy one. First of all, for white gel pens, they are pretty opaque. I did a whole video on white gel pens and how some of them really end up being more glossy than true opaque white. The Signo is white and you, there's the proof right there in the pudding. You can put it, you know, on a tag and you can really, really see it. So, that, so this week's challenge, are you ready? I'm excited, is three. Three things. You can use three products. You can use a repetition of three, but three is the magic number. Remember that song? Remember that song from um, School House Rock? Three is a magic number. Yes, it is. So uh, this has three things on it. There's a background, a foreground, and an embellishment. Three. Um, I used three things in making this tag. I used stamp pads, water, and a die cut. That counts. Um, actually, before I put that little piece of burlap, this is three things. It's a stamp, stamp pads for the background, and a white glue pen. So think three. It, I'm hoping that this week we can kind of pare things down. I've started making this today's tag, an embellishment that I had, a background tag using some dies, but three. Think three. Repetition of three, only three products, only three tools, three. So kind of maybe this week we'll pare down. All right, crafty friends, make sure you join along in our Facebook group on the One Little Tag Craft Challenge. And don't forget to watch our live periscopes at Craft Test Dummy and the replays on Catch Me. Thanks for subscribing and have a crafty day.